What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Ultimate Masters draft here on the, the Gathering Place, otherwise known as the Shire. That's exactly why I said it. Good call. Good call. Format is solved. The answer is do not draft it. Well, unfortunately, at three, three drafts is not where I draw that line yet. Szechuan chicken, or however, you know, however you say it. I think you mean spell it, because you didn't actually say it. I bet you could say it correctly. I was enjoying the jazz while grading papers. Well, here's uh, a little trick for you. You can actually put jazz on while you grade those papers. You don't know me. I can't say. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Sunny's actually sounds all right, but I probably wouldn't go by myself. You can't follow the draft if you have Jazz on? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that would have been so sweet if it was real. Not really, because it's only like seven tickets on Magic Online, I believe. Let me check. I'm scrolling all the way up. But the full art Snapcaster is only 676, so a regular Snapcaster, likely not that much. Oh, Foil Eternal Witness, too. If this pack was real, dude, muy bueno. This pack is gas, though. Got a Grave Scrabbler, Flight of Fancy, Eternal Witness, Snappy Boy. That's the beauty of you not playing music. Save for breaks. We can put. Yeah, actually, that's the defense a lot of people use when they're like, how can you not play music on when you stream? And I'm like, you can just put whatever music you want on. You can listen to whatever you like while I stream. And then my videos don't get demonetized, and you don't have to worry about disliking the music. If this pack was real, if this pack was real, not not a real draft, it wouldn't be. If it was, if it was a real IRL pack with physical cards, it'd be worth it. I oh, I like Ewood over Artisan every day. Uh, nine mana is not where I want to be. Passing a Snapcaster Mage is Jesus. That's funny. Phantom drafts are the only draft where you're gonna pass a Snapcaster Mage. I'm gonna take this Kodama's Reach. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking in terms of IRL. So, like, if I open this pack at a store, and there's a Snapcaster and a Foil E Witness in it, I'm gonna have a good time. I wonder how much it would cost me to transfer all of my Magic Online cards to full art versions. They're actually not that expensive. They're only like between two and five tickets each, most of them. But. Magma. On barrel rights. What does green go with in this format? I don't actually know. Does it go with red? I don't know. Wicker Ball Elder seems good enough to, to bring in, though. And by bring in, I mean take, I guess? Yeah, I'm taking Wicker Ball. Oh, Hunger is actually... Unholy Hunger is freaking great. Yeah, actually, it is, it is an instant, actually. I thought it was a sorcery, but... Yeah, we're going to go black-green. I'm going to call my PC Natasha Romanoff because she's big, sexy, elegant in her black suit, gets things done, and solves my problems. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, you know what? To each their own. That's a solid Black Widow reference. I approve. Flagstones of... Tra oh, travel prep. Notice, if you will, travel prep is now uh, uncommon where it used to be common because it was busted. I like Moan of the Unhallowed, especially because we're already in black. Hmm. 
Hmm. That being the case, though, like, God, travel prep is busted, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm sure this is nuts with heroic, but... Walkers fine, but you can probably get really late walkers too. Like unless you're paying eight mana for this, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty okay. I think it's definitely playable. I think travel prep is better than moan here. Wow, Mahamudi Dijin. This is why we end up in blue and green because I'm just like, oh, this is a really strong card. I'm gonna take this Sky Spear Cavalry because we have travel prep now. So, put you over here for now. Unholy hunger. All right, now we're back in back in black. All right. So, I guess even one use out of this is fine. And if you get to splash, like, a... If we get, like, a vessel or something, we can recast it. I don't know. Crushing Canopy. Heliod's Pilgrim is nice. I wish these weren't double black. I don't think we have anything that's really going to be great for this. Uh, spirit common is this. Whenever a player discards a card, you may pay black if you do create a 1-1 one, one spirit. That's actually not bad. I don't know if it's great, though. When you cast, return a creature with converted mana cost 2 or less. Converted mana cost is our deal breaker for me. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, it's literally probably just cool colors accomplice. We don't have any 2-drops yet, so. Hooting Mandrels. I don't hate Death Denied, especially with a... I think we're going to take the Mandrills here, but I like... I like. Oh, all right. Interesting. Interesting. Also, Artisan of Kozilak could be good. Kozilak. Especially when we have Konama's Reach, maybe? Hmm. When you cast a spell, if you target it, you may pay X. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this, actually, because it's one drop I don't care about. I want to take the Artisan here. It's just never this guy's never gonna be great dark dabbling regenerative creature is kind of fine especially because it cycles yeah I'm alright with it I don't, I don't love it I don't hate it I don't I don't mind Verdonite alone when we have Artisan of Kozilek. That's pretty alright. We dabbling, boys. Oh, this is it's very close to dark dabbing. Was my head not down far enough there? This is actually a tough pick. I'll probably take the Eidolon. Fecundity, sure. Oh, Sanitarium Skeleton. That's a cutie little that's a little cutie blocker. Ooh, what do we got here? Choose a card name. Nope, that's terrible. Slippery Bogle. Reanimate. I'm not all about playing. I don't care about reanimating this guy just because it's it's a cat. A, it's a cast trigger, and B, I ain't losing nine life for that dude. Uh, I don't think reanimate and limited is as good. I like Chainer's Edict. And ideally, we can get on the moon. If you can hear that, it's the vacuum. It's the robot vacuum. Yeah, I'm going to take the edict here. Oh, another edict. Oh, nice. Oh, a Twins of Maurer Estate. Chainer's Edict number two is probably the correct pick. Having multiple Chainer's Edicts seems okay. Yeah, we're going to take that. No gamble, no future. Uh, I like Moan. I think Moan is very, very good, as we've seen in previous... Rights? What is rights? Unbarrel rights? Uh, I don't like that unless we actually get a way to uh, to pay white mana. Because we only have like two creatures that we care about unbarrel rightsing, and we don't actually have ways to get them into the graveyard. So, like, what, where are we going to unbarrel rights right now? Like Eternal Witness or Ghoul Caller's Accomplice? Or, like, we only have seven creatures, and three of them are 
are worth on barrel rights and maybe. That's a maybe on hooting mandrels. That's a maybe for me, dog. I can see Seder Wayfinder making a... Do you have reasonable sacrifice outlets? If we have a reasonable sacrifice, I was like, I see playing this just to get the mana. Like a turn six artisan of Kozilek. But we don't. So. Also, Kadama's Reach is great for putting one white in the deck. Otherwise known as a Plains. Yeah, I'll just take Wayfinder. I think Wayfinder's fine. Oh, Phyrexian Tower. Sack a Custodian, add five mana. Hmm. Keep Doll. Exile a card from a graveyard. Don't care about that. Why is that uncommon? I don't know. I almost don't mind Safe Hold Elite. Actually, Safe Hold Elite did some work in our first draft. I guess he just taking the tower just to have a sacrifice out. Like, adding, being able to sack a Wayfinder for two mana is pretty strong. Or a zombie. Yeah, I'm going to take the tower. I think it's fine. Dakmore Salvage. Canker. Oh, Wicker Balder is actually a card we wanted earlier. And being able to pick one now is pretty nice. Oh, Become Immense. Snake Umber is also pretty sweet. We don't have any evasive creatures, though, which is a problem. So we're just going to put this on a guy, and then I hope you don't block it. I think it's probably Becumberman's. I don't think it's another Eidolon. We have no gold cards as well. Could be one of the... It's. I think it's definitely one of these two. I like this just as a way to protect like things like... Actually, put this on Hooling Mandrels. I'm okay with... Yeah, we'll take the Snake Umbra. I actually don't like... I don't dislike Shielding Plaques that much. Less than I thought I would. I would love playing this, but we don't actually have any discard outlets, really. I guess not yet, anyway. We could get some. Yeah, I'll take Twins. 3-5 is still pretty strong. Nope, not taking Spoils. There is power among creatures you control. I mean, if we get this out, it's a 10-10. Yeah, Snake Arbor works with Trample, so we can put it on the Hooting Mandrels. I don't think anything else we have has Trample, though. Wild Hunger is cool, but I'm, we're never going to flash it back, which makes it a little bit worse. Yeah, I'll take Miming Slime. I don't know if we're going to play it, but... And Barrow Rites comes back. Actually, and Barrow Rites is even better with Travel Prep now, and we can get back a, a couple more bigger creatures. Cathodian. Cathodian's value goes up for me once we have uh, Phyrexian Tower. Safe hold delete. Nice. Alright, so our deck is basically done and we have a whole other pack, so that's pretty cool. Is there anything in here? Dark Dabbling is probably on the fence. Sanitarium Skeleton is probably on the fence. Everything else is pretty good. I don't really want to discard the Artisan, though. I want the trigger, but I guess discarding it and playing it on five is probably better than just getting the trigger, right? Eidolon number dose. Revel arc. I 
Could be Gurmag Angler. I, the problem with this deck is that I don't want to actually exile any of the cards. Like, none of these four I want to exile. I don't want to exile Moan. I don't want to exile Unburial Rites. Still seems like it's still a five five though. Is it just better to have another two drop that actually does something in our graveyard? Maybe. I don't think become immense is that great. Well, prismatic lens is colored fixing, so. Yeah, I'll take the angler. Oh, we're taking Revlark, I guess. Well. Huh. I don't actually hate Revlark. I think it's definitely worth splashing if we're splashing on Barrel Rights and Travel Prep already, and we have a Kodama's Reach. Yeah, I think that's the whole point of the Shed Weakness in here is that it combos well with uh, Persist. I actually like Mark of the Vampire. I do like Seder Wayfinder, though. Uh, Golgari Charm is also nice to have. We do have Wicker Bow Elder already. I wouldn't mind getting a Crushing Canopy, but I don't think it's as strong as it is in uh, Guilds of Ravnica. Like, Wayfinder does a lot of good things here. Yeah, I'll get the Wayfinder. Lava Spike. Hero of Iroas. Another Hooting Mandrels. Returning a basic land could be fine, but I don't really want to play a 1-1 one, one for 1. It might just be Ulamog's Crusher, actually. Yeah, let's take Crusher. This pack is pretty underwhelming. Another Moan. I actually like... I actually like Moan a good deal. And we're not, we don't, we're not a discard deck, we're more a flashback deck, so sure. Steed also fine. Steed is also a discard outlet. I'm almost tempted to play a second Cathodian, though, because we do have Phyrexian Tower. I'm not sure if Revel Arc is actually worth playing in our deck. I'm going to play the horse instead for now. Uh, this is Sack it, Return a Creature from your graveyard to your hand, or from the, to the battlefield, rather, it gains haste. Sure. I want to take the Golgari Charm this time. I kind of like having a Golgari Charm. Eh, another Wicker Brow Elder. Like, we basically just don't lose to enchantments or artifacts, I guess. This is looking like the deck so far. Oh, Grave Scrabbler is nice. Do we have discard? We have a Ghoul Steed. I think that's it, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only discard outlet we have. That's sad. I guess we can take another walker, but it's still just a five, another five mana card. Yeah, this pack's kind of iffy. I'm not going to play a second walker here. I'll take Grave Scrabbler in case we get uh, just a like two or three discard outlets here. Like Patchwork Gnomes is reasonable. I'd rather just play the other Cathodian. Especially with Phyrexian Tower. This deck actually looks pretty solid. Connoisseur, you are a sacrifice outlet as well. Is this not as a sorcery? Ooh, I like that.
So there are like two cuts to make here. We can actually probably cut the travel preparations just because we're not really, uh, like we're not taking advantage of any heroic interactions. And one other thing. Like it's pretty easy to get a second white for Barrow rights. We can just cut a Cathodian, I guess. I like Bloodflow Connoisseur because it does give us a way to sacrifice things uh, at instant speed, no less. Like, if they try to kill it, we can sacrifice the thing. Oh, uh, I'm not sure we need a Charm in the main deck. Hmm. This deck looks pretty good. I can see cutting a Cathodian. Bring in that. Add the basics. That is correct. We'll go green higher right. Let's see. Black is a little higher. But we do want to hit green for our wayfinders, and this is also makes black, so. You're my main charm. Nice. You know, I had a feeling. Uh, we have a planes in here because we have unbarrow rights. And we can search for it with Kodama's Reach. So I feel like this is our best deck. Out of the three. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. Two drop, three drop. We can get another green and a the white source. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Look at this. How nice. Oh, must be nice. Actually, that card's only worth like probably like five tickets, I bet. Eleven. Eleven tickets. I mean, it's a phantom draft, so it's not worth eleven tickets, but... Wow. Turn one double higher into turn two kitchen finks. Sweet, sweet constructed deck. Did you guys see that water just dribble out of my mouth? I hope you didn't. That was embarrassing. God, oh, thank, thank God we're not recording this. Uh, well, I, I was going to block, but then I forgot about the Exalted, so now we're not going to block. And that's how that's how emotional roller coasters work, ladies and gentlemen. I was I feel like I was a fume spitter for a second there. Dark dribbling? I thought we weren't playing it. Yeah, you're right. Looks like the fume spitter is doing a little dark dribbling himself. Wow, you just preyed upon that guy? Did you look at my life? I'm a lot like you. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. This is a hell of a board you've developed here. Put that into the battlefield. So we take three, four, five if they don't pump. This is a lot of work you're doing on two mana. See, now we're definitely bringing in that Golgari charm, man. Woof. How much mana do we have to have for this guy? Like a million, right? I think we're dead. I think we're dead. 
we can go Wayfinder for two, play this, sack the Wayfinder. And play Wicker by Elder. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Okay. Oh, I'll get a swamp here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are not there yet. See, this guy's just too big. Just this guy. Oh, no. Nope. All right. Yep. Okay. So we're going to block here, and if you want to discard two cards, that's fine. I accept. It's a two for one. Despite our uh, limited board. Golgari Charm of your own. And one more trash card. Two Golgari Charms in your hand. Oh, Lord. We're having a good time. Pretty sure this game's over. Wow. I have no idea what's even happening right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven total mana if we actually... We can kill this, and we'll take three, four, five, six, seven next turn, and that would be exactly dead. So let's just go to the next game, and uh, we'll pretend this one went better than it did. Do we have a Fume Spitter that we picked up? I would love to put that guy in. We do not. Well, we're bringing in the... the Charm. Maybe skeleton too? Jeez. I'll take out one of the wayfinders. Yikes. Yeah, Eidolon's fine. There's a there's a couple things we could cut. We could also cut some of the top end, too. Uh, ooh, this hand is rough. Uh, this hand is actually good. I like it. We can get a black and a white. Uh, keep you on top. Well, this is not a great use of Chainer's Edict, but the problem is as long as this guy is on board, they're never going to sacrifice anything else. Oh, did the Watsi announcement go up today? Because that's interesting. Alright, well, I just opened the website, and I don't see that article on the front page anywhere, so... If you guys can link it. Yeah, it's kind of weird that it's just not there on the front page. <laughs> I see Magic Gathering is Chandra number one preview and tune in to the Game Awards tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. Which is weird because I feel like if they just announced 10 million in tournaments, that would be on the front page. Wow, look at this beautiful. Mm 
three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We'd have to exile the reach. Um, I think this is fine. Wow, that is a hell of a link. Oh boy. Apparently the article that it linked to was taken down. Apparently it was on embargo. And uh, apparently someone leaked it. So that was not actually supposed to go out yet. So that's cool. I mean, if they want to discard three cards to the Wild Mongrel, I think that's fine, right? I mean, they 100% have tricks here, right? All right. Is Rigo Fume Spitter post combat? Oh, Last Gasp. Wow. Didn't actually know that was in this set because I don't think I've seen a Last Gasp yet. So that's cool. Three, four, five, six. God, we're just so dead here. It's unbelievable. like you so what so one two one two three four five six seven eight is total yeah we'll just do this and we'll just assume that they can't you know become a mens us here <clears throat> all right well they pumped this so that's good second last gasp is their deck just utterly insane All right, this, this is all right. This is okay. Oh, they have a play. <coughs> Don't care about that. All right. And that's nice. That is okay. Thank you. Kiss fan, 890. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Sites releasing things a few hours early is basically a leak. I mean, that's pretty much very, very similar to a leak. I'm just going to block here. It's a one for one. It's not a one for one if you have a Grave Scrabbler. Jesus. Oh my god, we're so outclassed this game. Kiss fan, appreciate the sub, buddy. Thank you so much. Glad you could finally catch live, even though it's not going great right now against this top-tier madness deck. <laughs> Christ. And they got twins back, so, like, they're just sitting on infinite things. All right. Well, if that was a land, we could have actually played Moan, which might keep us in this game slightly... Since it was a Seder Wayfinder, however, we don't get to do anything else. Oh, and we get uh, three very valuable cards hitting the graveyard. That's good. That's nice. So now we get to block here. We'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go to one. And the uh, game probably ends shortly after that. Yeah, we're just going to the next game. Or the next match, rather. This match was not even close. 
I thought our deck was actually pretty solid. However, uh, then we played against the I don't need more than two lands in my entire deck to function deck. And... Uh, All right. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Any green in this hand is great. Famous last words, I'm sure. Nope, not not working out. Not working out. Here we go as we slowly slip into oblivion. All right, well, not targeting this guy, so that's nice. All right, well, lands are lands, you know. If we hit one more, we can play this. If we hit a green, we can play anything, so that's good. Although I think our luck has run out in terms of lands, so I'm not going to cross my fingers that we hit another land. That's what I was expecting, so I guess we get to pass the turn. And uh, don't, don't play any of our spells. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Hey, hey, man. Nice. We got in the game. We're on the board, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we'll get together then. You know we'll have a reckless worm then. Reckless worm. We're gonna play a reckless worm. I'm just gonna play Ghoul Steed here. As long as we have lands, uh, I don't really need the Kodama's Reach or Seder Wayfinder. However, we can go next turn. We can go Kodama's Reach for three. Play the Forest and uh, Seder Wayfinder. No attacks for obvious reasons. attack us I think we're going to make sure we keep hitting land drops with an Ulamog's Crusher in our hand we'll put the planes into play we'll play the forest for ourselves and then we'll Seder Wayfinder like you do well we got lucky <clears throat> also we hit two cards that actually do stuff in the graveyard so that's pretty cool Three, four, five, six. we can also play your boy next turn yeah, I'll attack here. If you don't block with the worm, that's fine because we can get we can get our guy back. And I kind of want to free up the the board for the crusher. I 
title on. Remaker, thanks for saying so, buddy. Appreciate it. It's your boy. Are you ready to get crushed? Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, what do you got? Three, four, five, six. You have eight power on board. So if you want to just quadruple block this guy. All right, let's see if we can get a combat here. Well, that is a land. It's also a good one because we can play Unholy unholy Bagoli up here. Five, six, seven, eight. We also have ten mana if we sack a dude, so we can play both Unholy Hungers. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Our deck is good if we actually have a chance to get to the middle of the game. The middle portion of the game. <laughs> Accidentally click send. Whoops. All right, well. Uh oh. Things are happening. I think they accidentally sacked that because they were going to block with it, maybe? Maybe not? Death denied. Get five things back from the graveyard. Okay. That's a lot. Wow, I can't read. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a thing. Well, that's okay. That was a pretty hilarious thing to say. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He coming. Oh, man, that would be insane. You thought I was to the battlefield? Woof. Card is still good. I feel like this Ulamog's Crusher is now going to take over the game. We got Artisan of Kozilek in the graveyard. That's sad. What are you doing in there, little Artisan? You know the person on the account? I don't, actually. I don't know who Elliot H. is. There's a lot of, like, not well-known vendors and employees that I, I probably wouldn't know. Is this no blocks? Oh, that was a that was a classic no blocks there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll just exile the Kodama's Reach. One, two, three, four, five, and we can keep everything else up. Keep up Unholy Hunger and all the other cards in our graveyard do stuff. Artisan doesn't do anything particularly, but. Uh, did Lil Wing get up before noon? No. When Mike goes to work, uh, he works at he, he starts work at four, so he literally wakes up at three fifteen. Uh, 
which is weird because he doesn't actually do any errands or chores or anything like that. He just wakes up, goes to work, and then he's done. Then he just leaves. Yeah, a little chicken wing. <laughs> oh, man. It's good times. So what are you getting back? Eidolon? The major F up Bethesda did or had with the support system on Fallout. I don't think so. I think, I mean, I know the fiasco that Fallout 76 is, but I didn't know about any. Uh... Oh, all right. Well, that'll do. That'll do. Awful Snout could be good. They have a lot of things in the graveyard, but they didn't really do anything in the graveyard. They just kind of hung out there until they got them all back. So I'll just smell like this. Do you want the Niner deck? Not really. Like, if you saw last game, we only had, like, one creature in our graveyard. It was the Ghoul Caller guy and the horse. And the horse can come back, and the Ghoul Caller... The Ghoul Caller's accomplice does a thing as well, so... Yeah, this hand seems fine. I like Death Knight. I think it's a good card. However... Oh, I like a Chainer's Edict on turn two. All right. Oh, barely hit. And we lost Hooting Mandrels, a Chainer's Edict, and a Verdant, Verdant Eidolon. Uh, we don't actually have any gold cards in our deck to get the Eidolon back. Maybe it's not great. I don't even know. So, we got to get rid of this guy before he does some serious damage, unfortunately. Ooh, unburial rights, and we have a white mana. We can get our hooting mandrels back at some point. That's pretty nice. All right, so what we can do is put Snake Umber on this guy. Draw a card. I've been grading the stack of student work for so long, I was like, how am I not done? Then I realized that I have it. I've been putting the graded ones on the bottom of the stack so the stack doesn't shrink. Huh. So instead of putting them in the graveyard, you've been putting them on the bottom of your library. Wow. There's your problem. So next turn we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can start casting Chainer's Edicts. Like Sack of Seder Wayfinder to deal another thing. Deal another thing. Do another thing.
When an enchanted creature dies, the creature can show me search library for a creature card, put that on the battlefield, and shuffle the library. Holy magolies. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is going to be... No! <clears throat> oh, we still have Unholy Hunger, I guess. We can just cast that instead. Yeah, that's okay. All right. All right. Pack one, pick one pattern. Yeah, pattern is actually sick. Yeah, I like this art a lot. It's also Teresa Nielsen, so, uh, you know. Oh, also, this art is fantastic up close. Like, this has to be art that's insane when it's bigger, right? Look at that. You got this old man, and then it it's very... Oh, they got the Fibonacci. Is this a Fibonacci in here? You got a little Fibonacci sequence here? Like a little golden spiral? This is nice. Man, Teresa, Teresa Nielsen OP. I gotta get rid of this guy, though. <clears throat> he had it coming <laughs> I'm just gonna throw everybody in there <clears throat> I actually I imagine I wonder if Therese Nielsen's selling that pattern of rebirth art I bet it goes for like $20,000 N-I-E-L-S-E-N N-I-E-L-S-E-N yeah okay Oh, limited limited edition prints, thirteen by nineteen for thirty nine ninety five. This strikes me as something she would auction off on eBay, and then it would end up going for like twenty nine thousand dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not there yet. Zombone dies. So let's get back hooting mandrels. <clears throat> and next time we're going to snake umber this dude, Fo Show. You know the worst artist who plays MTG is? Uh, no, I don't. Do you? This is an May ability. Oh no. Oh no. It's no good. <laughs> oh man, good times, good times. All right, well we're two. John Avon, he only draws lands. Wow. John Avon is like MTG artist of royalty. Oh boy. Going to five. All right. We'll keep this six drop and uh, four lands here. This is on the this is nice. Actually, that just got significantly better. Oh, 
Ooh, a creeping tar pit, huh? Well, that's fancy. Don't whiff. Hashtag never whiff. Oh, I'll take a tower. So, I don't have a problem exiling Kodama's Reach. The only thing Kodama's Reach does in our graveyard is make our... <clears throat> what's it called? Cheaper. Make our... Not cheaper, but uh, it gives us the potential to gain two life from our unholy thing. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. This is six mana. Eight mana is a lot, though. They could double block, and then we get to kill one. That doesn't seem great. Fascinating. So we can have six mana. We can actually just evoke this dude. You can't pump here, which is nice, but this doesn't do anything anymore. Ideally, we just draw on barrel rights, right? That's a nice little stalemate we got here. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, once we get it. So actually, we're going to get back Walker of the Grave. It's Grove, stupid. Yeah, I know. Grave sounded cooler. It sounded more metal, so. <clears throat> Do we just attack with two four fours? No, because then they just go three, five, three, three, block. Ugh. This is fine. All right, if you want to keep discarding cards just to deal this too, I'm okay with it. Also, you guys definitely definitely follow or subscribe on Twitch here because this is what Magic the Gathering looks like every day. All right, so we go Tower. Sack this Maloney jabroni. And play Big Fat 7-7. Seven, seven. Now we got a game, I think. When does Mindhunter Season 2 come out on Netflix? That's what I want to know. I hope it comes out today. I'll go watch it right now. Well, they can they officially confirmed it on November 30th. So, it's unlikely. 
Oh, spider spawning is in this format? What? That's... That's crazy. Uh, it's board states like this. Yeah, it's definitely board states like this that put the distinguished grays in my beard and my and my head as well. Okay, so that's an easy block. I'm definitely going to err on the side of killing the root walla here. Because brawn is just better for you in the graveyard. Sure. So we get to kill deal seven and trade uh, a root walla for a token. Which is fine. Did they dredge again? Oh dang! Spider spawning only makes two guys right now. One for Wall, one for Eidolon. So I see what's I see what's going on here. So that's six. So I've taken 14 from this guy. Was this the Mold of Five game? Yeah, because we went Seder Wayfinder into Hooting Mandrels. Yeah. Not bad. I never drew it. I went one, two. To be fair, our opponent hasn't drawn it either. What do they have? One, two, three. They only have four spiders now. It's getting better. They also it's also cost seven mana, which they are way away from. All right. Apparently Ulamog's Crusher is too much to deal with. <clears throat> so they got some relevant graveyard cards. I think now we're bringing in the Awful Snout. I'll take out this Eidolon. We don't have anything to get it back. We also didn't see any removal, so Mark of the Vampire could be decent. Eh, I think it's fine like this. I'm going to keep this hand begrudgingly because I think the cards itself are good. We have a good amount of lands. Ideally, we get something like a Seder Wayfinder here. It's not a Seder Wayfinder. I was hoping we could Eternal Witness on three and get back something good, but... Seems good. I'm not actually going to do anything here. There's no real good things to do. My kingdom for a Kodama's Reach or something. Brawn. Oh, an awful snoot.
Awful Snout can actually get rid of this brawn, which is nice. I don't want to delve it away, though. So I'm just going to take three here. Sirks. This is actually very tempting to get rid of it now. And then now we can delve it away, so that's good. Ooh. Me likey. Me likey. Oh, we also have two we get two spells there too. That's great. <clears throat> what do we eternal witness here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you just eternal witness get back crusher? I don't want to play Hooting. Wait, we can sack this for two and then only exile like Awful Snout Crusher, but that doesn't seem great either. There's a lot of things to be doing here. What if we just ramp to Artisan of Kozlik to get back Crusher instead? Let's E-Witness the horse so we can just play that next turn. Making sure we play the land this turn five. Yep, sounds good. All right. So we need nine. So this is two. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. We're three turns away. That's a pretty easy block here. Get Brawn back. Oh, get Eternal Witness back to get Pulse back. That's a nice little combo. It doesn't do anything but get six life, though. Yeah. So you have Pulse in hand. Yeah, we're just going to Umbrella Rights here because if they have an answer, then we just get to play Artisan of Kozlik anyway next turn. So that's pretty cool. Uh, That's fine. We'll just pass here. Did, did, did make it by Blossom while we were in Seattle? The Fresh Roll? Oh, you did make it by Blossom while you were in Seattle. The Fresh Roll was amazing and the Cash Chicken. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty crazy because it's like, there were times where I was eating at, at Blossom in uh, in Seattle, and I was just like, you sure this isn't meat? Because it tastes like meat, but it wasn't meat. Yeah, it was pretty nuts. That restaurant's great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. That's super awesome. I'm glad you guys could make it. And this is where the game starts getting out of hand. I wonder if they try to, like, triple thousand block this guy. All right, so put this guy in the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably just kill these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that seems fine. And then if you want to like pump this guy, let's you keep two. Oh, nope. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Pretty, pretty. 
pretty, 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 pretty good. Seems good. They could cycle their awful snout here to get rid of our Ulmox Crusher, but we still get to keep an artisan. <clears throat> yep. They did not do that. mongrel yep <clears throat> so this is annihilator four that's pretty strong yikes that he would does have trample you right you right Is this, is this like no blocks? Oh boy. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I want to keep five up for this. One, two, three. And we'll just play safe, hold, delete. Seems like the safe holdest play. First time catching live, but I've spent more time than I care to admit watching your limited content. I'm glad I love the real time pro strats so I can crush my playgroup in a UMA draft on Monday. Well, we are not experts at this format quite yet. But uh, the first draft we went 1 2, and then the next two draft, uh, with the last draft we went 2 1, and this one where it looks like we're 2 1 as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. You can feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons on uh, YouTube and uh, hit the little bell too if you want notifications. And feel free to check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below as long as as, long, as well as uh, Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. You can check out his site. The link is in the description below and it's on Twitch if you guys are watching there. If you use promo code Frank, you'll get 10% off and his stuff is amazing. Just amazing. Absolutely incredible. And... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.